After the success of Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee, a sequel was put into production and on November 2nd, 2004, Godzilla Save the Earth was released in North America. This game was released on the PlayStation 2 and the Xbox. Two years after the events of Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee, mankind gets a hold of Godzilla's DNA, also known as G-Cells, and begin learning from it. After learning about this, the Vortac led by their Queen Vorticia return to Earth. They invade with an army of monsters along with their new ultimate weapon, Space Godzilla. In addition to the previous roster of monsters from Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee, seven new monsters are added. This brings the roster up to 19 playable monsters. The new monsters are Baragon, Jet Jaguar, Mega Godzilla, Godzilla 3, Megaguirus, Mogira, Mothra Larva, Mothra's Flying Form, and Space Godzilla. It should be noted that with Mothra, the player starts as the Larva form and then is able to evolve into the Imago form. Because of this, the game groups the Larva and the Imago form together into one character instead of breaking them up into two individual playable monsters. While Mechagodzilla 3 is featured in the Xbox version of Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee, he is not featured on the GameCube US version, so this game counts him as a new monster on the roster. There are also a few unplayable monsters featured in the game. They are Batra, Ibra, Meganula, Millennium, and Space Godzilla's flying form. It should also be noted that Biollante, while not featured in the game, is present in the game's code. In addition to the new monsters, there are also some new locations such as Boston and New York, as well as the boxing ring map from the Xbox version of Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. Godzilla Save the Earth has the same great gameplay as Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee. This game comes with a few more modes such as challenges mode which are unlocked when you play through the action mode. They add some variety to the game and there are 12 challenges you can play through like Undersea Battle, Osaka Crunch, Asteroid Field, and Monster Bowling, just to name a few. Godzilla Save the Earth has a decent story and a large monster roster that enhances the game's replayability. Monster combat is the same and the graphics are improved and still hold up for a game that came out in 2004. If you haven't played this game, you really should give it a try. No G fan should miss this classic and nostalgic title. I'm giving it a 5 out of 5.